If you call out to one of the dead, all of them can hear you. Or did you always know there was going to be a prequel when you were writing the first two? And was it always going to focus on Lynn? I mean, no. When I was writing the first film, I didn't know anything. I just thought, okay, I'm writing a, a, a ghost film here, kind of my version of a haunted house film. And I hope somebody likes it. For all I knew, the film, you know, would disappear into the ether of, uh, of on demand and never be seen by anybody. It's always, you know, filmmaking is a form of gambling. You really do just pin your hopes on whatever you're making. I think and chips. <laughs> yeah, w William Goldman's quote, nobody knows anything, has always been true. Yeah. Nobody really knows anything, but they pretend to know something. <laughs> you know, people will tell you they know what's going to work or not work, but really they don't. So when I wrote the first Insidious film, I had no idea where any of this would lead. I'm as surprised as anybody that I'm sitting here talking to you about the third one. When I sat down to write the third one, that's when I made the decision to focus on Lynn's character. And then did you work in collaboration to flesh her out? No, we're not really. I mean, we, we've just had discussions about Elise, at least from my perspective. We've, mm. we've, we sat down before I started we've, writing before at your we, house. Yeah, but it was, there were not, the, these ideas per se were, had nothing to do with what was ended up being in the story from my right. perspective. However, they might have ignited something in you yeah. that led you to the place It was a write. good general discussion. Yeah. Like you told me a lot of great personal things yeah and know. and so i opened up to some stories that had really happened to me that may or paranormal may not normal stories maybe you know I, <laughs> yes or no i don't know you tell me <laughs> i mean as it I, does further really exist <laughs> i actually yes, think it does. it does especially in your own mind yeah. <laughs> in your own mind and in my own mind i mean i think everyone has a further um whether it's a real physical place we really don't know the answer to that do we but um, it was interesting to have a stimulating conversation that uh, is nice to believe that that propelled uh, Lee yeah. to write what he did write. But when I read it, I, I, I was just, I was so moved, sort of externally, you know, separating myself from the character because I was reading it on a page. And as I started to work on it, I was just, it was kind of an actress's dream in a way because it's such rich, personal, and uh, private material that then it leads the story into you know this this uh, theme of loss and grief which we are all experiencing, you know, and it's how I meet Quinn. It was so beautifully woven into the the big story that I, I really just was tickled completely. The, the film is also important, especially for fans, because this is the birth of the further. I mean, you literally say, "Let's call, call it, it the yeah. further." Yeah, that's um, right. We find your story of uh, Specs and Tucker, how mm -hmm. they came to be a, a very unlikely relationship right. that, that yeah. is born in this movie. <laughs> was it important to give fans those types of little nuggets that then they could connect to uh, the previous two films, which actually are the post two films. Yeah, exactly. Um, absolutely. You know, those little nuggets, those little Easter eggs that you give to the fans, that's one of the most fun parts of making a sequel, is, you know, you have a world that you've already established and created, so now you have a lot of uh, characters and rules that you can play with, you know. Um, so I, I felt like it would be fun because we are in the past, you can hint at things that, um, you can hint at the beginning of something and the audience knows where it's going to end up. So it's almost like the audience feels like they're, they're privy to something the... that even the characters yes. on screen are yes, privy to. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, he jumped. <laughs>